In a city still suffering from a lingering crime wave, backing the blue will probably be priority for many voters in the November mayoral election. That's right. Today we did learn that police, Houston police, believe that it's the best choice to help restore public safety. Fox 26 political reporter joining us now, Greg Grugan from the newsroom with the implications. Yeah, Rashi and Caroline, the mayoral candidate strongly favored by Houston police came as very little surprise to most. Given his pivotal role setting criminal justice policy for the entire state over the past three decades. In the race to be Houston mayor, few if any pronouncements of public support carry more weight than that delivered by the police officers union. 265 days out from the election and longtime state senator John Whitmire has attracted the full backing of our city's rank and file cops. From day one, actually before day one on the job as mayor, I will be networking and coordinating a law enforcement surge, if you might say, to the streets of Houston to protect homeowners. The endorsement comes at a critical time for those who wear the badge and the public they are sworn to protect. For the first time in decades, the Houston police force is in real danger of falling below 5,000 officers. The ranks ravaged by retirement. When we have an average of 270 leave every year, it's hard to keep up with attrition. And we're going to see that continue for probably the next four or five years, if I had to guess. Police Union President Doug Griffith says recruitment and retention have been hobbled by comparatively low pay and increased scrutiny. Our officers have a lot of stress on them. They're micromanaged with everything they do on that body camera. And at the end of the day, they just, they're tired of it and they go do another job. Underscoring the alarm, a little-known 2014 city-funded study, which found HPD was understaffed by 1,500 officers. Griffith's bottom line? We could easily see us at 4,500 officers in a couple of years. If elected, Whitmire pledges to attack the officer shortage with an innovative hiring strategy. I will take an active role as mayor in recruiting. There's 17,000 correction officers in this state. I know for a fact I could go to the correction officer pool and immediately recruit 500 officers that would want to join HPD. For the record, HBOU is not blaming Mayor Sylvester Turner or City Council for the falling number of officers. With extreme scrutiny of police conduct and liberal bond policies returning violent criminals to the streets, they say interest in wearing the badge is clearly waning. In the newsroom, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.